Hi guys. So today, actually I'll show you what we're doing. See this logo here? We're gonna be making this big tree trunk lady out of walnut. I already put it on the walnut, so this is quarter inch. And the reason why this is separate from here is because I separated the hair and I put it on a little bit thicker material, nothing crazy. Um, and I kind of matched it with the grain pattern so it looks kind of cool with the hair. Right here I have a, I believe it's a number five modified geometry blade. And I'm scrolling with my Pegasus, which is my, one of my, probably my, my favorite tool I've ever had. <laughs> the logo, which if you saw at the beginning, there's branches coming out from the arm. So this is just, these are just branches. So when I do end up cutting the branches, just like you would with intarsia, you'll all have to go through and make sure that they butt up really well with the walnut. Um, so if you saw me cutting through that and you were confused, that is why. I can always kind of speak it later. That is. All right, all of the inner cuts are done, y'all. You guys can kind of see. I'm gonna cut the outside. And we're gonna take this template off. I'm going to show you, put some mineral spirits on it, show you what it will look like. So it's going to fit right like that. I'll do some shaping and whatnot. I probably won't get to the hair. So I also, I did, I did the material prep before I started this, but what I use is I use contact paper and then this is just printed on my printer um, so that the contact paper goes down and then um, that way there's no like weird residue left and the template comes off really easily. See, I'm just being careful because I don't want something to happen. I feel like normally things don't go this smoothly and I'm just I ignore this line. It just needs to be sanded better, but I don't know if you guys can kind of See, there's some ripples there. I think it's gonna look really nice when it's sanded and oiled up and everything. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, like I said, I probably will. I'll do something with this logo on my uh, live on next Wednesday. I don't know what part yet try to plan my content ahead. I'll usually say it on my Instagram story. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see um, usually the day of or maybe the night before what I'm planning to do. Um, I tr I'm trying to like keep the projects the same instead of showing you a bunch of different projects. 
Um, so I'll leave this one um, for next time. But I am going to jump off here. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to send me a message um, at the Living Timber Co. Um, and I'll be more than happy to help you or answer any questions, any feedback, anything you'd like to see, um, just let me know. But I hope you guys have a good night and I will talk to you later.